In this video, I am going to solve the second question, which is question number 14 from chapter 12, rotation. Let's read the question. A disc rotates about its central axis starting from rest. So initially the disc is at rest and it is rotating about its central axis and it accelerates with constant angular acceleration, which is alpha. At one time, it is rotating at 10 revolution per second. So that means they did not mention what is that time, am I right? So, but at a time t equal to 1, that means at t1, it completes 10 revolution per second. That means its angular speed, right? So better I will write here, at time t1, what is its angular speed? The angular speed, which is exactly equal to 10 revolution per second. Clear? 60 revolutions later, that means they mention which is delta theta. So 60 revolution later, what happens? 60 revolutions later, its angular speed is 15 revolution per second. So that means at time, of T2, what is its angular speed? 15 revolution per second. Clear? And now we are going to calculate one by one. Actually, this question also has four subdivision. What is given in the first question? Calculate the angular acceleration. What is that angular acceleration? They ask you to calculate the value of alpha. So here angular acceleration is nothing but alpha, right? So in the first question, we are going to find the angular acceleration alpha. So for that, we have to use the equations of con the equations of motion with constant angular acceleration. So better we will write that four three equations, the main three equations. What is the main equation? Omega, which is equal to omega naught plus alpha t. This is our first main equation. The second main equation is delta theta, which is equal to omega naught t plus half alpha t square. And the third equation is omega square, which is equal to omega naught square plus 2 into alpha into delta theta. So these are all the main three equations. Am I right? Now we have to choose the equation to find the value of the angular acceleration because that is our first question, am I right? Calculate the angular acceleration. Now we have to use what is given in the question. In the question, they give the value of omega 1, which is angular speed 1 and angular speed 2. And also they just mention what should be the delta theta, right? So that is no information about the time. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to choose the third equation for finding the value of the angular acceleration because that equation has no information about the time, am I right? So better we can use the third equation to calculate the value of angular acceleration. So what is our first question? To find, to find angular acceleration. Alpha. So I'm going to use this equation. I can write omega 2 square because I have to write the equation based on our angular speed, right? So omega 2 square, which is equal to omega 1 square plus 2 into alpha multiplied by delta theta. Now I'm going to rearrange this equation to get the value of angular acceleration. So how I can do this? I am going to keep this term here. I am going to move this omega 1 square to the left hand side. By that, 2 alpha multiplied by delta theta, which is equal to omega 2 square minus omega 1 square, right? And we are going to find the value of this alpha. Therefore, alpha, which is equal to omega 2 square minus omega 1 square over 2 multiplied by 
delta theta. Now we have all the values. What is the value of omega 2? Omega 2 is 15 revolution per second. And this omega 1 is 10 revolution per second. So I am going to substitute the value here. I did not convert this revolution in terms of radian. We will just leave as it is. So I am going to calculate that. So omega 2 square is 15 square minus 10 square over 2 multiplied by what is the delta theta which is 60 revolution am i right so now i'm going to calculate the value i'm going to get the answer for this angular acceleration so 15 square minus 10 square over 2 multiplied by 60 what's the answer i got 1.04 so 1.04 revolution per second square so this is the answer for the first question clear now i have to go to the second one what is in the second question calculate the time required to complete 60 revolution so that means that for they mentioned after 60 revolutions it occurs the speed of 15 revolution per second am i right so they ask you to calculate for this 60 revolution, what is the time? For completing the 60 revolution, what should be the delta t value? So we have to answer for the second question. So better we start one by one. So for the second part, we are going to find, to find the delta t for 60 revolution. 60 revolutions for that i'm going to use the second equation what is our second equation delta theta better we can use the fourth equation that will be easy am i right we can get the answer directly what is our fourth equation because we no need to waste our time i think our last equation what we studied in the theory which is delta theta, which is equal to omega 1 plus omega 2 over 2 multiplied by delta theta. So this equation will be very easy for finding the value of delta t. So I'm going to use this equation. So delta theta, which is equal to average angular velocity. Well, how to find the average angular velocity? Omega 1 plus omega 2 over 2 we have to find the average multiply by delta t now we have to arrange this equation in terms of delta t so therefore delta t which is equal to this 2 will come to this side so 2 multiplied by delta theta over omega 1 plus omega 2 and here delta theta they already mentioned in the question as 60 revolutions and omega 1 is 10 revolution per second and omega 2 is 15 revolution per second i am going to substitute the value for finding the value for finding the time value for 60 revolution so delta t which is equal to 2 multiplied by 60 divided by 10 plus 15. So let's we calculate what will be the answer for this delta t. 2 multiplied by 60 over 10 plus 15 is 25, right? So I got the answer as 4.8 second. So delta t which is equal to 4.8 second. For completing 60 revolution so for completing the 60 revolution the disc took how much time 4.8 seconds so this is the answer for the second part clear and now we have to move to the third question so let's we read what is given in the third part what is given in the third part what is the time record to reach 10 revolution per second angular speed? Am I right? Because in the first, in the second line, you can see at one time they mentioned, am I right? But they did not mention what is the time for this 10 revolution per second. So in the third part, they ask, 
for completing for getting this trend revolution per second what should be the time clear so for that again i have to deal with this equation so i am going to choose the first equation for getting our easiest way am i right because the first equation is very easy we have the final angular speed initial angular speed alpha we already calculated and the time we are going to calculate so i am going to use the first equation for getting the answer for our third question so what is our third question so better i can write something in the subheading that will be easy for getting some idea so what is that time to get to get omega 1 which is equal to 10 revolution per second so for getting this 10 revolution per second how much time is needed am i right we are going to calculate that so i am going to write the first equation what is our first equation omega 1 which is equal to omega naught plus alpha t1 am i right why i just used omega naught because initially the disk is starting from rest am i right so here the omega naught is zero after that it is coming it is completing 15 revolution per second and after 60 revolution it completes the second revolution as 15 revolution per second so that means initially the disk is, the disk is at rest am i right so if you want to find the time for this omega one so the omega naught they already mentioned in the question as rest this rest means its speed initial speed is zero so i am going to rearrange this equation in terms of t1 because we are going to find the value of t1 so i have to keep this term here alpha t1 which is equal to omega 1 minus omega naught therefore t1 which is equal to omega 1 minus omega naught over alpha and we know the value of this omega 1 which is 10 revolution per second so 10 minus and the initial so i think this is zero okay so the our initial on angular speed is zero over the angular speed angular acceleration alpha what's the value of the angular acceleration i have to go to the first part which is 1.04 right 1.04 is our angular acceleration value 1.04 so t1 which is equal to 10 divided by 1.04 so we got 9.6 one second 9.61 seconds so this much time it takes to complete 10 revolution per second so that is the answer for our third question now we have to go for our fourth question so we have to read very carefully calculate the number of revolutions from until the this until the time the disk reaches 10 revolution per second angular speed so that means from zero initially the disk is at zero am i right there is no revolution because it starts from zero so they ask in this 10 revolution per second angular speed how much revolution the disk completed so we already have the time am i right we already know the value of the time and we already have the value of the initial angular speed because the initial angular speed omega naught is zero and the first angular speed they mention at a time t equal to one am i right t1 it completes 10 revolution per second so we have all the data for getting the answer for the revolution which is nothing but the theta one so i have to write something for the subheading so what we can write for the fourth part so fourth part which is our d am i right to find theta one theta one is our revolution one am i right for in the in, in in angular speed in this angular speed what is the angular speed 10 revolution per second so so during this angular speed how much revolutions this disk got clear so we are going to find that value for that again i am going to deal with the third equation so what is our third equation omega one square which is equal to omega naught square plus 2 into alpha into i'm going to choose theta 1 because we are going to find the theta 1 clear 
I should not use delta theta. Delta theta is 60. So here we are just only focus on the revolution taken during the angular speed of 10 revolution per second. Clear? So I have to find the value of theta. So, so I have to keep this term. I'm going to move this term to the left hand side. Therefore, this equation becomes 2 alpha theta 1, which is equal to omega 1 square minus omega naught square. Therefore, theta 1, which is equal to omega 1 square minus omega naught square over 2 multiplied by alpha. So we have all the value. So omega 1 is nothing but 10 revolution per second. So 10 square minus what is the initial angular speed, which is 0. Am I right? So 0 square is 0 over 2 multiplied by angular acceleration. What's the value of angular acceleration? Which is 1.04. We already used the previous question. Am I right? So we know the value of alpha. So I just wrote it here. So therefore, theta 1, that is the revolution taken during this angular speed, uh, 10 revolution per second is 10 square over 2 multiplied by 1.04. So the answer for this is 40.48.07 radian. So if you just rounded the value, if you just rounded the value, which is exactly we can take 48. Clear. So this is our answer for the last question. So in such a way, you have to uh, you have to carefully deal with the equation. So which equation will be very easy to get the answer because we already uh, you already familiar in chapter two and chapter number four and also in chapter number ten we are just dealing with that four equations five equation actually we have five equation but the first three is very very easy very very important and the fourth equation sometimes so for our easiest calculation we can just deal with that equation which equation the equations what we used in the second part I think so what what equation we deal in the second part this one this one actually this is the fourth equation am I right so in some time you can just deal with the easiest way of getting the answer clear that's it